Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson and unfortunately I'm here to tell you that the DuckTales reboot that began in 2017 is being cancelled and will be finished after its third season. And to be honest, I'm definitely disappointed. Of course I knew that the show couldn't go on forever and I didn't want it to overstay its welcome. It's been a finely tuned, hilarious, and adventure filled animated show that I've been enjoying since the first season. I remember watching the show on my phone my freshman year of college and just loving all the goofy characters. But according to Drew Taylor, from Collider, this last season is it, which actually came to light when fans on Twitter were calling for the show to be renewed. I mean, what an absolute roller coaster it has been to be a DuckTales fan in the last few weeks. I mean, we've gotten a Darkwing Duck special, two holiday episodes, and a building villainous threat like in the first two seasons, but now, after so many fun episodes, we have to accept that this is the last season we are going to get. Of course, it's important to note that Disney hasn't officially made any remarks stating that DuckTales will be over, but right now, the premise of a fourth season doesn't seem to be in the cards, and the reason we know that is because no one is working on it. From what I understand, the offices where DuckTales was being worked on haven't been open in a while, and many of the creative leaders who worked on the show have moved on to other projects, which is exactly what happened when Tangled the Series was airing its final episodes, which killed any hope that we would get any spin-off shows for characters like Varian and Cassandra. Now, we don't really know what the other leaders on DuckTales are working on now, but hopefully it's on something we will get to see soon. And ideally, I hope it comes to Disney+, Plus, which I think a lot of people want to see as well. DuckTales went through a weird life on the Disney Channel networks, starting off on Disney XD, quickly going to Disney Channel for the second half of the first season and the entirety of season two, but now concluding again on Disney XD. And from what I've heard, one of the reasons that the show was wrapping up was because of the low viewership, which is frustrating because Disney XD has a lot less viewership viewers than Disney Channel. So if the executives wanted people to actually see the final season of DuckTales when it premiered, it seems like it should have been at least on Disney Channel, if not on Disney+. Plus. But I don't think it would have been very realistic to expect a show that's been airing on Disney Channel to premiere on Disney Plus during its life cycle, because Disney is in a weird place where they don't want to completely cannibalize their networks as they build their direct-to-consumer streaming platforms. That's why they are continuing to make shows for their networks while also developing original content. But honestly, I just wish it was all available to stream right away. But when it comes to DuckTales characters coming to Disney+, Plus, we actually already know that Darkwing Duck is on the way. Disney+, Plus is said to be in early development of a Darkwing Duck reboot with Seth Rogen as one of the executive producers. But unfortunately, if you are deeply connected with the version of Darkwing Duck that we met in DuckTales 2017, you'll likely be bummed to hear, like I am, that there's been no indication at all that it's connected to anything that was previously created in DuckTales. Yes, while it would have been amazing to have a variety of shows that all were connected and shared one cartoon cinematic universe, it doesn't appear that's what's going to happen. Even though we've seen the Rescue Rangers, Darkwing Duck, and the Gummy Bears, nothing seems to be coming that will directly tie in to what we've seen on DuckTales, which really seems like a missed opportunity. There was a team who loved the Disney afternoon block and who understood it, so it kind of stinks that group couldn't keep going with what so many people were enjoying. Maybe they were dissatisfied with how much the show cost versus how many people actually watched, but I loved what they were doing. I really appreciated the 22 minute episode length especially, because to be honest, I don't really like watching the short 11 minute ones. They have to do so much in a short amount of time, and while I've enjoyed shows like Star vs. the Forces of Evil when I've watched them, I prefer being able to have long and complex stories each week. That's a contributor to why I think I really enjoyed Tangled the Series and DuckTales, in addition to them just being you know, wonderful and having amazing stories and characters. Or each of those shows three seasons, we got incredible tales with characters that we knew while also getting to see them taking on new threats and developing in new ways. I loved seeing the continuation of these characters' stories and the further development of these worlds. And specifically in DuckTales, I just thought it was going to go on longer. For the longest time, when I've spoken to all of my friends in the comment section of my DuckTales videos, I kind of assumed that there would at least be four seasons to allow each of the kids, Huey, Dewey, Louie, 
and Webby to have a powerful character arc. First, we saw Dewey pursuing the mystery of his mother. Then we saw Louie attempt to build a company. And while Huey has been wrestling with some inner demons, I honestly thought that the third season was going to focus on Webby's origins. Now that idea doesn't necessarily seem to be coming to pass, but that's not necessarily a horrible thing because the threat of Fowl does seem like a great way to wrap up the show. There's so many villains that will be involved in the rising conflict, and it's led by a character who was introduced in the very first episode of the show, which makes me feel like Fowl could have always been the massive threat in the endgame. I think I just got caught off guard with this announcement. I, I would have been extremely excited to watch DuckTales for years to come, and since we didn't know at the beginning of 2020 that this was going to be the last season, we just kind of have to deal with the news, which I guess Disney has a precedent of doing. I didn't watch Gravity Falls when it was airing, and I honestly still haven't seen it yet, but I guess Disney did the same type of thing with that show, that they announced it would be the last season just before the final episodes aired, as opposed to Tangled the Series, where we always knew that there were only going to be a total of three seasons. Wild enough, I've been thinking about how Scrooge McDuck is kind of an immortal being who will continue to go on adventures throughout all of time. It seems no matter what, he just can't be stopped. So it's kind of hard to hear that this hero is not going to have any more stories played out on screen, at least for right now. The classic Disney characters should absolutely continue continue to have stories told about them, but it's hard when we don't know who's going to be in charge of them in the future. I'm sure we will get many more amazing stories about Scrooge's family going on mysteries and rewriting histories, but I just liked the ones that we were getting right now. I'm bummed that another show that had a team that I really trusted to create great animated tales is getting broken up. But while I'm kind of sad, I'm just glad that we got this show as long as we did. And hopefully the DuckTales crew were given the entire season to conclude the show in a way that will be satisfying, especially since Walt Disney World is still supposed to get a DuckTales experience in Epcot. No matter what though, the experiences we had with these characters will never go away, and when season 3 returns in 2021, we will get to make a few more memories watching a few more adventures. But what are your thoughts on DuckTales being cancelled? Also, make sure to subscribe and click the beautiful bell if you're new, and then click on another magical video in the description or on the screen. Finally, as always, Thank you to my patrons, thanks for watching, and have a magical day.